Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mr. Fuzzy Lego. Welcome back to another custom video. And today I'm going to show you my custom Lego Crash Bandicoot from the Crash Bandicoot series of games. Now I know literally almost nothing about this series. I mean, I've seen gameplay of it, and I've seen, like, you know, I know who this character is, but I, I don't play these games, and I haven't really at all. So, uh, this is, of course, the, uh, the series, the figure request for official SSG for winning second place for my Super Smash Bros. contest, so this is why I made it. So yeah, um, just, this is it, Crash Bandicoot, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So here's Crash Bandicoot, and right off the bat, I just want to explain that this is a first attempt. So this may not be the best looking Crash Bandicoot figure out there, heck, it might even be one of, like, one of the only Crash Bandicoot LEGO figures. But yeah, uh, this was a first attempt, and I think it looks pretty good for being a first attempt. Uh, what I did is I actually used one of the torsos I made for one of my old Luigi figures. I cut it upside down because the neck was... The neck was not there, so I was like, I might as well uh, reuse this for Crash Bandicoot. And I made my own uh, my own arm holes by cutting into the Lego the Lego torso itself, and then it it broke actually. So this figure isn't actually the cleanest and most uh, you know best looking figure out there. But yeah, the torso is upside down. I got inspiration in that from Deku Scrubster's old um, Crash Bandicoot. I thought it looked really cool. And yeah, uh, I just painted some different boots, some different jeans looking things, and then the sculpted little tie that's around his waist. I did that, sculpted, and I think it turned out pretty nice as well. So definitely the hardest part was going to be the head. And oh boy, the head, it was alright. When I first sculpted it, it looked it looked weird when I first sculpted it. I mean, because at first it just was just the head. It didn't have the snout or the ears or the eyes or anything, so it looked really out of place. And after I added everything else to it and gave it the ears, and also this is it's chipping because I don't have that color anymore. So yeah, that's kind of a problem. Hopefully it's not going to be too uh, noticeable. But yeah, uh, I sculpted on the, the snout and the ears and the eyes, and I think it turned out pretty nice afterward. Uh, the snout turned out uh, interesting. I tried making it look like he has teeth in there, but it just kind of looks weird from its side angles. But overall, I think it looks pretty nice for a first attempt, and the hair is actually breaking, so that's pretty sweet, man. And uh, yeah, he has his arms. He has, oh, they can move still, despite them being on custom arm holes. And if I can remove the arm, I'll show you. You can kind of see I just kind of cut into the torso itself upside down and then filled in the down, like the, filled in the actual hole with my own clay. And then I just, I just sculpted on top of it. And now his arm is just kind of dead. So I'm going to try if I can put that back on. I don't want to break the figure. Oh my gosh, I'm terrified. Oh my, uh, okay. All right, that was scarier than it should have been. I feel, feel like I was going to break it, but it's all right. And yeah, uh, it looks pretty sweet for a first attempt, I think, and it's a really nice little figure that I have, and very, uh, very Crash Bandicoot-y. You know, it actually looks like the character I was trying to make, so I'm happy with it. So I think that's going to be it for my Crash Bandicoot LEGO figure, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, if you did, and make sure you hit that subscribe button before I end this video. <laughs> and also, I'm going to kind of explain a few things. I might even do this in a, in a separate video, but I kind of started on a few Avengers figures, so I'm working on that. I'm taking a break because uh, I'm gonna I want to be making some very quick Majora's Mask figures in like a, a few weeks or maybe even two. So I'm gonna be doing that, and then right after that I will be making Piranha Plant for Super Smash Bros Ultimate. So that's gonna be a uh, cool to look forward to. So hopefully um, once I finish my Majora's Mask figure, it's just gonna be like Skull Kid or something. And then well, I mean it will be Skull Kid because that's what that that's the third place winner. That's this that's the request. So I will be making Skull Kid. And then, uh, yeah, Piranha Plant will be next, and that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching if you did, and I'm going to see you later, so goodbye.